Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of BachelorettVegas.com. And I'm standing here today, guys, in front of a Marquee Day and Nightclub. You can see the big sign in the background there, Marquee, Marquee Day and Nightclub. And this is the Cosmopolitan. And I'm actually standing on a, on a new building here. This building was actually built and then ripped down. Um, it's actually where the Ocean Prime is a big restaurant they have here. And there's some other stores and whatnot. And uh, this restaurant wasn't even here like a year and a half ago, two years ago. So it's new. And uh, now i got a nice place to shoot and uh, talk talk about Marquee Day and Night Club, and uh, this video is actually going to be um, about Marquee uh, Dome, okay? The Marquee Dome is actually a, a big dome structure, if you will. Um, I don't know if you can really see it up here from, uh, actually, you can't see it, okay? So there is the uh, Marquee Dome from the outside, okay? Up there, you can kind of see the big, uh, you know, dome structure. Got to go this way to get some better lighting here. And um, that dome is going to be up. Uh, it's starting, you know, they obviously started to put it up now, but it's not fully uh, fully uh, built yet. It's, they're going to have to add some more uh, you know, clear coating, and I think it's like plastic, if you will, and that keeps the heat inside in the, sun, or in the winter months around here, okay? And the dome is actually going to be... Um, Officially, the dome party is going to go from uh, October 14th weekend and then going to run probably to like the first or second week of March. And uh, you're going to have a pool party on, uh, looks like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from what I can tell. They're going to be doing a pool party at the Marquee Dome. One of the main reasons why they did put it up this year, because um, they haven't put it up for several years now, I think is because that F1 race is going to be up here in November. And then we also have the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. So there's going to be two monster weekends uh, where there's going to be a lot of high-end customers. Probably the Tal Group's going to have some big spenders in town, I'm assuming myself as well. And, uh, you know, people will probably go up there and blow it up. The fact that they can do a pool party in November here and in February and have it actually be not cold, <laughs> it's going to be a pretty popular uh, destination. And then obviously they have a larger group of hosts than they used to back in the day um, when it was just Tau Group they had Tau you know Beach and Tau um, you know Tau Nightclub and then Marquee and Marquee Day Club so they had like four venues and then Lavo as well and some restaurants but now they bought you know the old Hakkasan Group and now they have you know Amia, Hakkasan, Jewel, uh, Liquid, um, Wet Republic so now you have all those hosts pushing this venue and it's you know basically an army of hosts in Las Vegas including all the independent hosts like myself and uh, you know it should be able to do pretty good on a you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday as far as like the uh, you know pool party goes and whatnot. So I'm excited for the dome. Um, they're gonna have some you know decent DJs. Probably not gonna see you know like the big hitters like an Aoki or a, a Martin Garrix there, but you might see some you know guys like a John Summit or uh, maybe like a um, you know side pieces there today. Uh, Chris Lake could probably see up there. Maybe they're gonna put some headliners on like Saturdays. Really try to kick this thing off. So it does compete with uh, with their own other party in the winners. It's always been a pretty famous party called Lavo Brunch. Okay. Okay, so Lavo Brunch is over there at uh, the Palazzo, and that's a really cool party. It's not a pool party, obviously, um, but it's you know it's a brunch and that turns into a pretty wild party. Um, I had a whole video on that below, so you want to check that out. That's a nice alternative to this. And then um, the only other pool that's really open is Stadium Swim. They have heated pools and they're open year-round. Good for sporting events and whatnot. You know, if it does happen to be like a 60 or 70 degree day and it's sunny with no wind, it could be pretty decent over there as well. So that's your other opportunity for a, a winter pool party. But uh, I'm going to have uh, a link below. And, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions for me about uh, the dome over there at Marquee, I'm here to help. And you can make sure you hit me up on my cell, which is above 773-459-8133. Uh, shoot me a text. Let me know when you're coming to Vegas. I'll send you out uh, emails and pricing and links, etc. Um, we do have packages and whatnot. If you guys are interested in doing like a brunch package, maybe get a limo over here. Um, we do have some nice brunches with things like all you can drink and uh, eat type things. Um, a couple, two or three different places that are real close to here. A couple of their walking distance. And then if you wanted to get a limo from your hotel there and back, uh, we can send that all up as well. So um, this is uh, Brian Pfeiffer signing out here from the Las Vegas Strip, right across the street from the Marquee Day and Night Club, right here in my background at the Cosmopolitan. And I'm looking forward to working with you guys this winter over at the Marquee Dome. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.